Take out your notes. Lose supplies and it slows you down, right? Old by the old you die, the weapon. Where's the virus? Where's the virus? We didn't buy any food. We didn't buy any food. Oh, no, six, sorry. Oh, Karen died. So, like I said, that game was invented way before the internet. So that game was invented way before the internet even was about. It was on the old Apple IIe's computers that, again, that's why you have to press a 1 and then hit enter. Okay, because that's how it worked. But in terms of the information, it, it does give you a pretty good picture of the difficulty. Of the difficulty along the Oregon Trail. Mikey. So somebody signed out as long as it is in the girl you can. So I forgot who asked. It was Lewis, so you're all right now. <coughs> So a big part had to do with your planning, okay? And and I think they only gave the choice of getting oxen on this game, didn't they? Yeah. I think on the, one of the original games you could choose oxen, horses, or even donkeys. Okay. Now the advantage of horses is what? They're faster. They're faster. What's the disadvantage of them? They're they don't have much meat. They don't have stamina. Okay? They're not going to go as far. The, the advantage of donkeys is what? They're, They're loud. They're stronger than horses. The disadvantage are what? They're slow. They're stubborn. Okay? They're faster than oxen. Uh, and then the other was oxen. And the advantage of oxen is what? They're strong. Okay? They're strong. They, they'll last. The disadvantage. Right. They're slow. They're slow. Okay? They're slow. But most people, that's what they would choose is oxen. So the ideal time, you can see, it would take 120 days. The ideal time. The average time is 160 days. So that's how many months? So 120 days, how many months? Four months. So. The average is 160 days. That's what? Over five months. Why would people want to do the trail? Why would they want to do the trail? It's a nice way Part of it, you know, is because of like guys like Horace Greeley. And they read in the paper that if you go west, there's land of milk and honey. There's great fertile land. And the best thing about it, it was what? Free. Free land, all you had to do was settle it. People wrote guidebooks showing you what you should have and what you should take. The problem is, some of these guidebooks were written by people that never had been on the trail. Like we said, uh, who can write stuff? Anyone. Anybody. So a lot of the stuff they wrote that was in the guidebook was really not any very helpful yeah, to the people. And you saw one of the most difficult things they were doing is crossing these rivers and streams. They don't seem like much, but again, depending on the time of year you got to them. So in the spring, some of those rivers are what? They're really high, they're flooding. 
Some of you got to rivers that was easy to cross because they're only about a foot deep. Yeah, I could have four feet one in Georgia. Really? But again, if you if you left too soon, somebody got caught in a blizzard, didn't they? Oh no. These guys got caught in a blizzard. Oh, they left in March. Do we have blizzards in March? Sometimes. Okay. So you can get caught in a blizzard on each side of it. Of course, the last if you get caught in a blizzard on the way in where you're probably low on supplies already. And some of you could hunt. Anybody try? I know uh, was Maddie was hunting. We were hunting. Did you get anything, Maddie? I did really. Oh, well, we didn't get anything we hunting. Did we got three deer. deer. We got three deer, deer hunting. And a squirrel. And a squirrel. And a squirrel. And a squirrel. You're a bison. You Again, but you can't Ooh, depend on them. Bison on your favorite animal. I think they were deer. Yeah, they were deer. Yeah. Sure and a squirrel. I bought what they were kind of cute. Like, 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 now, let's get back to the original question we asked when we ran out of time last time. We said, why? They started here and went all the way up here. Why did they leave this, which is today? We said it's called the what? The bread basket bread, of America. Bread basket of America. Why would they skip all that? Because they're stupid. Because they went else to Because we're American. Because it's not for me. Because oh, they thought this was a desert. Why would they think it's a desert? Because they're stupid. Because they didn't have glasses back then. Because <laughs> there's grass all over the place. Because we said the original farmers, when people farmed on the East Coast, how did you farm? Sorry about that, Grayson and, and Chase. Why would they think it was a desert? People farmed out here. When you farmed, we said, how did you farm? What? What was There's along the coast here? Lots of what? Right up. Are you with us? Are you with me? Are you with me? <laughs> Lots of trees. That's how you farmed. You cut down the trees, and then the nutrients from the trees are going to the soil. They plant this in that soil after they cut down the trees. What didn't they see right here? Trees. There weren't any trees. They said, well, if trees can't grow there, what? It's a desert. Nothing can grow there. Plus, this area, if you go across this area, how much surface water is there? There's not a whole lot of lakes. So, but they didn't realize that there was lots of water. Where was it? Up north. Up south. Underground. Underground. And a, an invention comes later that changes the history and, and leads to the settlement of all this. You guys know what the invention was? Uh, we used to play this game. We used to play this game when we traveled from Minnesota to Nebraska when one of my kids were little. We played the zap game. What's that? Every time you saw one of these, you'd say zap. And then whoever gets the 21st wins. Now, today, because of technology like the solar field out here, uh, you can get to some places and get 20 like in 10 seconds. From windmills? Windmills. Today, windmills are for what? Energy. Energy for electricity. But that's not why they were invented. What were windmills invented for? They were invented to pump water out of the well. So if you go to most farmhouses around, most every farmhouse is going to have a what? Windmill. A windmill in the middle of the yard somewhere. And at the bottom of the windmill is usually a, a, a hand pump or a big animal trough. Because the windmill would turn and use a pump to pump the water up that's underground. And by having all that water, this becomes America's breadbasket. But the early settlers, they thought you couldn't grow anything because there weren't any trees. There wasn't very much surface water. So that's why they went to Oregon. And then Oregon became part of 
the US. And then the last part you can see down there in the orange that we got, because we already talked about Texas, right? Mm -hmm. We fought a war with Mexico. And if you had to sum up why did we fight this war? The main reason was this manifest destiny. Remember that means what? That's right. So we were supposed to expand and fill this continent. So down here in Texas, there's two rivers. The Nueces River, which is right here, and the Rio Grande River, which is right here. Mexico said Texas borders is the Nueces River. Texas said what? It's the Rio Grande River. So there were some skirmishes here, some fighting, and some Americans were shot at. And so a bill was sent into Congress saying, we need to go to war, they're, they're firing at it. Now we have a famous senator who later became president who introduced a series of resolutions in Congress that he called the spot resolution. Because he said, show me the spot where American blood has been shed on American soil. Because that was the cry. American blood has been shed on American soil. You guys know who that senator was? Um, Kennedy. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, I okay. that. So the results of it, basically, it was a great American victory. Because Mexico was a very weak country. Even throughout its history, Mexico has had an instability in, in, uh, in their government. Here you can see some of the different uh, battles that went on. But we got all this territory, the Mexican secession. California, New Mexico, parts of Utah, Nevada, Arizona, Wyoming, and Colorado for $15 million. Again, a great deal because shortly after what was discovered over here in California? Gold. 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 So this was 1846 or 48 it ended. Gold was discovered shortly after that. And then there was a rush of people coming into California in 1849. That's why uh, San Francisco is called the what? Football. What's your football team? The 49ers. The 49ers. The 49ers, and there were all these prospectors coming to California. And even as they went on the Oregon Trail, you said, I don't know if they incorporated that into the trail or not, that you had the choice when you got up here. How far did you get? What was 1,000 miles anyway, Avery? Did you get to Fort Bridger? Or was it just outside Fort Landing? South Pass. Thank you. So you, you made it to Fort Bridger? Pretty sure I did. Okay. So if you got a little further, then you'd have to make the choice. Am I going to continue on the Oregon Trail? Or are we going to come down here to California and try to strike a ridge? So this gold rush totally changed. Again, thousands came. California admit applied for statehood right away because they had enough population. Like we talked about last year, this process, becoming a state, first of all, you have to be a what? Territory. Territory. How many, how many people you got to have to be in territory? Um, 860. 5,000. 5,000 people. And then you have to come up with a constitution. Well, California got that right away. All these gold rush people coming in. Now these are different ways you could have went. We'll talk about this later too. So you could have come, like we said, on this overland route where you come and come across. That's the hardest way to get there. Okay? If you were wealthy, really wealthy, you would take a ship all the way around the coast right here. So you've come Take a ship all the way around. Do you have to go 
while. That uh, takes the longest, but it's the best. Only because there's no hardship, you know you have a sure thing. The other way is to take a ship down here to Panama and come across Panama and then hopefully catch a what? Another, Another ship. But you didn't know, there, there's not like there's, there's a ship schedule, like there's an airline schedule. There might be a ship or not. And what's the environment like down here in Panama? Very hot and muggy and full of disease and malaria. So, and then the last territory we got was this bit in the green called the Gatson Purchase. And we bought that thinking that we were going to build a transcontinental railroad there. They never did, but that was added. So that big chunk of Arizona there in New Mexico was added with this purchase. Again, the original idea was that we'd have a transcontinental railroad. I'll show you what they ended up owning. So, in a span of 50 years, just a little over 50 years, we did expand and fill the continent. Although some people thought what? Did you take enough? We didn't take enough. We should actually, some argued at the, after this Mexican-American War, they thought, well, we should have paid for this for one thing and we should have what? We should have just took all of Mexico. Some people said, well, we're fighting the British, we should have what? We should have took all of Canada. But as this is happening in our country, uh, other problems are happening in our country. That's what is going to lead to probably one of the worst times in our history. Anybody have questions about how our country became expanded and filled up? So I these fast, you can pick up notes if you didn't get them all. They're on the side again, if you're not taking notes, what? You're gonna have a heck of time on my 100 point review worksheet that we're gonna get this week. We've never had one. When will it be due? I'll get one. I'll get nine. I will. No, I'll get nine too. I'll get the negative one. The not one. The main. We studied this a little bit last year. <laughs> How far did we get last year in the high um, When we were doing distance learning. Did we get to the Civil War? Uh, no. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Did we get past the Civil War? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. No. Yeah. Ben Herget will remember. So our country, this term sectionalism means our country began to split in half between North and South. Why did we begin to split in half? Slavery. Okay. That's what sectionalism is, okay? It just means we began to split in half. Okay? Part of it had to do with the economy. What's that mean, economy? The The, how much money is circulating. Okay, that's part of your economy. So basically, economy is, is the resources you use to, to supply your needs. And in the South, what was the primary resource used? Mikey? Mm -hmm. 
But the South, what, what, what was their primary way of making a living in the South? You still don't know that answer? Cotton. Farming, cotton. <laughs> they also raise tobacco. Those are what kind of crops? Cash. Cash crops. So they're, they're designed to make cash. But the North, what's its way of making a living? Factories producing goods. So economically, that that split our country in half. Because most of the people in the South were these plantation owners that were producing cotton and tobacco, while most of the people in the North were people that worked in factories. Except there were some also that farmed in small farms. So that's one thing that split us up. Another thing that split us up was railroads. Most of the railroads ran in which direction? South. First of all, most of the railroads are, were in the north, and most of them, instead of running this way, I think I might have a picture of the railroads. Well, this one's somewhat, but you can see most of the railroads aren't, this is one exception here, but most of the railroads are going east and west. So instead of tying the, the country together with the railroads, they're actually splitting them apart because basically what's the railroads for? Traveling. Somewhat traveling, but most of it's for business. And and does the north need the south cotton? Well, a little bit maybe for some of the factories that produce clothing. But but the south primarily traded with who? You would. Oh. Who'd the South mainly trade with? Um, I picked on you to give you a strong hand. South. I gave you a, picked on you to give you a strong hand. Britain. With Britain. Because Great Britain was the first in terms of the Industrial Revolution, and their factories were producing what? Good stuff. What kind of stuff? Clothing stuff, stuff you make out of cotton, okay? So these things began to split us in half. And then we have the two issues. What are the two issues that split us in half? One, obviously, slavery. slavery. Who is for it? South. South. Why? I was a South for slavery. Easier to farm. Because it's profitable to use slaves to work on the cotton plantations. If it was profitable in the North, what? What would have happened? We would have had slavery in the North. It wasn't profitable in the North. It wasn't like the North were so much more morally responsible than the South. It just wasn't profitable. Because in the North, there were factories. You had to be skilled and work in the factories. And to get skilled, you had to be what? Smart. Trained, educated. To be able to work in the factories. And they didn't want to educate the slaves. What's the other issue? It split us up. Just the one that people are using this. I can do this now, I think. I got a new projector. 
What's an import? Going into a goods being shipped into a country. So goods coming into your country. You're going to put a tax on those. Why would you want to put a tax on a good coming into your country? So you make more money. One is to make more money. Here's another reason. What would they charge you if you brought in? Well, that would eventually happen. But why would you want to do it? So if I'm going to put tariffs on stuff coming in from England, what's England going to do on my stuff? They're going to put taxes on my stuff. So why would I want to do that then? It wasn't just about money. So here's a shirt. You make it in a factory in America. The shirt, they didn't know you could buy it at a garage sale for a quarter. So if you make this shirt in England, this shirt costs ten dollars. Wow. Okay. In America, this shirt costs eleven dollars. Wow. Which shirt are you gonna buy? Well, most people, if they're like Mr. Hale, they're going to buy the cheaper shirt. Yeah. If it's the same quality, you're going to buy the cheaper shirt. But what if, in America, we decide to put a tariff on this shirt? We're going to put a dollar and a quarter tax. So now this shirt costs how much? Uh, $11.25. It costs $11.25, when the one in America costs what? Just $1. Eleven dollars. Which one are you gonna buy? Oh. Oh. So who's gonna want a high tariff? Uh, no. Which section of our country is gonna want a high tariff? No. 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 Neither. 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 Well, you're not thinking here. Who's making the shirts? North. North. North's South. making the shirts. Oh. What's the South making? Cotton. Cotton. The South has to buy most of their products. They're, they're selling raw materials. They have to buy the products. So the South would like to buy their products what? Cheap. So you don't want to pay tariffs. Because tariffs make your products cost what? More. More. So let's split our country. The South wanted no tariffs or low tariffs. The North wanted what? I tariffs because the North wanted you to what? They wanted you to buy their stuff. Not buy the stuff from Great Britain. Buy our stuff. So those two issues began to split our country even worse. And, and then it became, we're going back to our, our political philosophy again. Who should have the power in government. Ooh, that's special. The state said, you shouldn't be able to tell me, you should be able to force this tariff on me if it's high. You shouldn't be able to tell me that I can't have slaves. So they were afraid of that. So they, they began to, again, uh, rebel against some of the policies of the government. Eventually, it's going to lead to what? War. To the Civil War. So here's the plan. I have a four-page review worksheet. What? I'm going to give it to you today. And it's going to be due in a month. The first two pages of it are due on Friday. Okay. How many freaking news are notes? Do I do next Monday? The next two are due Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh. Dang, the next two we can do next Monday. 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 Monday.